Hi guys! Today I wanted to share this vegan alternative to honey with you. I came up with this recipe years ago when I was trying to make my version of this bee-free honey product that I had read about but it wasn't available in Canada at the time. I looked at the ingredients and really doubted that it would taste like honey anyways but I gave it a shot and it really did turn out to be very honey-like. All you need are some apples, sugar, lemon juice and a bit of water. First, I'm washing the apples in water with a bit of baking soda and lemon juice to get a thick layer of yucky wax off these Spartan apples. Usually I buy non-waxy apples and can just rinse them off, but these happen to be on sale for super cheap. So as you can see, I chopped up the apples to put in the blender. You can use any apples you have on hand. It's a great way to use up bruised and imperfect fruit. Then you can add just a little water to help the blender along. This recipe uses one cup, but you may find that you can do with less. The less water you add, the less cooking time later. Then I blended this in my regular old blender for about 20 seconds, just until the apples turned into a puree. You don't need to get it really fine or anything. Now we separate the pulp from the juice, which we will turn into syrup. I'm using a nut milk bag, but if you don't have one, you can strain this through a few layers of cheesecloth. You can even cheat a little and use store-bought apple juice instead of going through this process. Just get one that's 100% pure apple juice. You should have about two cups of liquid strained out. I have more than that here because I goofed during filming and added too much water, but it's fine though. If you do the same, just cook it for a little longer. Pour it into a pot and add a cup of sugar and a little bit of lemon juice. Stir that in and turn the heat to high and wait for it to boil. Once it gets to that rolling boil, turn the heat down to medium or medium high and cook for about 20 minutes or until the liquid is reduced to about half. You might get some of the scumminess on top. Just skim it off. And that's it! You can test the consistency of the syrup with a chilled spoon. Just dip it in to get a little on and give it a feel. If you want a thicker syrup, just cook this for a little while longer. When you taste it, it will have lost the apple juice flavor. It should have that cloying sweet honey flavor with just a hint of apple. Pour it into a heat proof container and you're done! I store this in the fridge even though it's probably not necessary due to the high sugar content in the syrup, but it's up to you. As always, check the description for the full recipe and notes. Also, if you have any questions about why I chose to stop consuming honey even though I used to love all kinds of bee products, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy and bye for now!